Good morning, and thank you everyone for joining us for our webinar on the SCI uh, BI reporting tool. Uh, today, we are going to show you how to analyze your financials and our operational data with Cloud BI tools. And on the phone, we have Jazdi Bogal from Tangerine Software, the developer of the Sage Enterprise Intelligence. And he is going to go through the software and explain how you can leverage your business data to get better insight into your business and make real, um, have real power in your decision-making ability. So with, without any further ado, here's Jess Deep. Thank you so much, Stefan, and uh, hello everyone, and thank you so much for joining us for this webinar. And uh, my name is Jess Deep Bogal, and I am the pre-sales consultant uh, for S Sage Enterprise Intelligence, and I will be walking you through the product today and showing you the version 9, which is the latest version of SCI. So getting directly into the product, I'll, as you can see, I am right here at the main login screen of SCI, which is available in multiple browsers and also in multiple languages. So depending on your user base, you can choose the language and have the access to this application in that particular one. Now SCI, it comes with pre-built templates for various um, ERP systems. So since the user base for today will be uh, primarily Sage 300, I will be logging in with Sage 300 as my ERP system and and also logging in as admins as that will give me the access to all the different features, groups, charts, and all the different features of SCI that I would like to show you today. So right now as I log in, I, we are right into the main landing page of SCI, uh, which is actually the latest version of uh, SCI version nine. And here on the left-hand side of the screen, we can see the command center, which comes with four different tabs which is data models and views, dashboards, reports, and favorites. There, and favorites is a section where we can, favorites is a section where we can save the, store, we can store the saved work. So in the data models and views, this is the place where we have all the pre-built templates which come out of the box with SEI for Sage 300. So we have the various folders such as accounts payable, accounts receivable, finance, sales analysis, and within each one of these folders, we have the data models. So if I drill down on and open one of these data models or some of these data models, we can see all the pre-built templates, worksheets, charts, and graphs, which come out of the box from the day one of SCI deployment. It's also really important to note here is that all the folders here, which are pertaining to the processes within Sage 300 until data warehouse will be putting the, will be pulling the data in the real time However, the data models such as Data Warehouse and the more recently added Universal Data Model for Finance, Sales, and CRM, these are the data models which are based on the OLAP Cube technology, which help you connect to multiple data sources and consolidate your data sources together to have seamless reports. So to give you an example, with the help of Data Warehouse and more importantly, Universal Data Model, which is the, the, the latest addition to the version nine of SCI, you can connect to Sage 300, uh, your legacy data, the, the reports from your Excel files, and put them all together and have a seamless report right here within the SCI application. Now, what I will do, I will go ahead and open um, one of the worksheet views uh, let's say a finance and here I'll open the income statement report so here I'm opening the income statement report which has the fields such as sales, cost of goods, expenses, and this is in fact one of the reports which comes out of the box with Universal Data Model for Finance. So we have many other reports such as trial balance, posting analysis, cash flow, and so on. And as I, as I may also explain how the worksheets actually work, it's based on a very simple principle of groups, pivots, and columns. So whatever goes into these groups, pivots, and columns, 
as a field is exactly what you can see as we drill down on these reports so for the first level of the, the field here is a report one level order and then as a soon as I drill down on that we can see all the account codes and further as I drill down into those account codes I can see all the document numbers if in case we want to add more fields the toolbar on the right hand side gives us the tool called dimensions and measures from where we can have the access to the all the pre-built KPIs which come out of the box with these worksheets so here we have uh, actual postings actual rolling 12 budget postings debt inventory sales and so on so for example if I uh, happen to put one of the options let's say a rolling 12 and add it to my worksheet it simply comes with the drag and drop functionality so very easy to uh, customize your reports and these pre-existing reports on the fly and then change it accordingly to according to your own tastes On the other side of this, uh, the various of the worksheets, we have the sales, the various views in the sales worksheets would be invoices, analysis, sales summarize, actual versus last month. And just to highlight something which is more recently added in the version nine is the integration of the images and the hyperlinks within the worksheets. So these worksheets uh, come with the, pre, with the pre built features such as images and hyperlinks. And as we can see the integration of the pictures here, they are integrated right next to the product description. So we can hover onto these pictures to have more details about the products. And also the hyperlinks uh, is another feature which clicking on which can take us directly back into the ERP systems, which could be Sage 300 or Sage X3. Uh, and then have, we can have more details about the product using the native tabs within the ERP system. So that's the integration of the pictures and uh, uh, the hyperlinks within these worksheets. I would also like to highlight the uh, the sharing and distribution of these worksheets where with the help of the sharing option, we have plenty of different options to uh, distribute these and share these reports with our teammates. So for example, in this particular worksheet, if I expand it, and then with the help of the sharing option, I can simply send a comment. Let's say if I want to mark down on something, we can mark and then send it across to our teammates as an email, download it as an image, and talk about that in the team meetings. And then with the help of uh, the export option, we have the ability to export this report in various formats such as PDF, Excel, CSV, and so on. Also, on a more uh, important side of the subscription, we have a subscribe option where users can simply subscribe to these reports by choosing an action on how they would like to receive these reports, whether they would like to receive an email on these reports or get them saved on the network drives, add the multiple recipients to these reports, add subject and description in multiple languages of their choices with the help of this little bubble here where they can simply type in the uh, the language of the preferred user base which could be hello in English uh, bonjour in in French and Sp Spanish would be like hola and then schedule they can schedule the receiving of these reports on according to their own wish so here for example if I would like to receive this report at 9 a.m. I'm sorry 9 a.m. on every Monday and let's say Thursday of the week that's all I have to do from my side and then click on subscribe and then SCI will be doing the job of automating these reports it will be sending us reports on every Monday and Thursday of the week at 9 a.m. so we are ready with the real-time data because these reports when sent out will be pulling out the most recent data from the ERP system from the database and presenting you the the most recent numbers to talk about that uh, or to to have access to uh, in your reports on more advanced side of this uh, we also have um, the scheduler the advanced scheduler which is available through the administration option here 
and this is in fact another newly added feature within SCI version 9 where users can select multiple views for example if I say uh, purchase order analysis um, sales history and the vendor statistics if I add these three views and if I have any Excel views we can add them as well but here this is the important part where we can now create the consolidated reports we can create the packages of three or four reports put together in as a one bundle and then which can then be sent out as one PDF file you can also add a name to that add a cover page which comes with the text field where you can write down the uh, the cover page for that particular reporting pack and then also add the table of contents select your views and then send them across to as many users as you may want and those can be defined right here and then you can also add the two CC and BCC in these options here it's also possible to set the conditions on these reports for example if the inventory levels drop below 100 then I want to receive the reports right um, at that particular moment because that's a crucial stage and then uh, if that condition is being set if the inventory levels go below 100 the SCI will do the job depending on that updated number from the ERP system to send out these reports to the uh, to stakeholders and so that they can take the appropriate actions right at that particular time so yes conditions and consolidated reports very important parts and newly added which help you um, organize your reporting and distribution in a much better way now uh, now I'll move my focus towards uh, the dashboards where we actually have the various dashboards which also come out of the box with SCI uh, these are some of the dashboards that I'm just opening as the from the folders but what I would really like to focus on is the dashboards from the universal data model so like I told uh, we have the universal data model for finance sales and CRM so here we have all of them so let me quickly go and open one of the dashboards for example a CFO dashboard so these are the dashboards which come out of the box all the users have to do is to plug and play their account plug and play their data like map their accounts and they will start showing you your own data in these particular dashboards so giving you a very good starting point of uh, analyzing your data with the help of these all views put together so here we are looking at a lot of different KPIs such as performance profitability liquidity gross margin operating income and so on and on the top we have the filtering panel from where we can also make the uh, selections for example if I say I want to see the data for fiscal period 6 I click on apply I apply that filter and here we go so now we can now see a filtered data for the fiscal period 6 so that's that way it is easy to simply look at the information on what we really want to see and when it comes to customizing these dashboards yes all of these dashboards do come out of the box but having said that they do have the ability to be customized for example with the help of the added dashboard option here each one of these views goes into its own little window so we can resize these dashboards resize these views within the dashboards uh, change the color change the theme of each one of these views or the dashboard as a whole and also if you want we can even drag and drop the views right into these dashboards just like we did for the KPIs from the other side in the worksheets so now as we can see this particular report very much becomes a part of this dashboard I would also like to pull out more dashboards just to show the the power of the dashboards and what other features they do come with so for example a sales dashboard right here uh, like a sales performance dashboard
So here we are looking at the sales performance dashboard, which is showing us much more information related to sales, such as invoice quantity, invoice amount, the margins made, the top 10 products performance this year versus last year, the trends of the sales this year versus the last year with the two different lines show us the trends within the two years. And what I would like to highlight here is that these views can even talk to each other within these dashboards. So for example, in this map that we're looking at, the USA map, we have some of the regions which are color coded and the color of course gets darker as the number of sales are higher in that particular region or state. So if I click on California, for example, and add this to my filter, then as we can see the wheels moving, what it is doing, it applies a filter for California on the rest of the views in the dashboard. And now the information has changed and we can see that all these views now show the information and the statistics and the numbers only specific to the state of California. If I change it to Iowa, for example, we'll see a change again, which will be now related to the state of Iowa. It's also possible to jump from these dashboards directly into the other worksheets which is another feature which is very, very useful, uh, which is called the link to feature. With the help of this, I can click on anywhere in the dashboard and then open any of the worksheets of my choice. So let's say I made a selection on the state and I select the worksheet actual versus last month. The state I selected was Missouri. All right, so here we are looking at this particular uh, worksheet, which we just opened. Okay. So for example, if I pull my state code directly into my groups, okay, it's really slow now. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. So now we can see the information on any particular dimension that we can add here. We can even change the uh, slice and dice these reports as we open on uh, this particular worksheet and use the, again, the native tabs of dimensions and measures to uh, change the information as per our own taste. Now, talking about the new features, uh, Within the universal data model for finance, it is also now possible to uh, do the forecast of the data. And also with the help of the reporting report builder, we can now classify and categorize the account codes so that we have, a, we have, which actually gives us the ability to categorize the account codes within the other account codes. So for example, within expenses, I have to uh, bifurcate them as the operational expenses and the other expenses. Now with the help of the report builder, it is completely possible so that you can classify them and see them accordingly within your financial reports. Here I will try opening one of the features here. And with the help of the forecast ability, now with the forecast data entry, uh, the users can enter in the forecast information. They can do their forecast within the SCI and then push them back within the ERP systems and then also use the forecast worksheets to push them into the dashboards and do the analysis on the forecast data. So one example of the forecast here would be, uh, I'll pull out a dashboard when, where I have created a forecast, which is a forecast realization.
Okay, just a moment. Here we go. So in this particular dashboard, we have already created forecast, which is forecast 2081. If I click on apply that forecast, and here we go with that particular uh, information on the forecast created. So the map here that we see at the bottom and the bars in the green are showing us the figures for the actuals, whereas the ones in the orange or the yellow, which could be visible on your screens, showing is showing us the information for the forecast data. We also have the filter for the cutoff period where I can select the cutoff period to be four, for example, apply the filter and then it reloads the information and now the bars in the green are only showing the information for the actuals and for the four periods where the other ones in the yellow will show us the rest of the eight periods within the forecast so that's one example of how the forecast uh, looks like in the dashboards and talking about the process of forecast within the uh, within the application and how it actually works here we have the forecast data entry where you can do the forecast con configuration by month or by week so you have the choice and recently we will be adding the forecast by quarter as well so just to show you what a forecast would look like here I have an example so validated forecast selecting the forecast name revision number one, and there we go. So this is what a data entry worksheet with an SCI looks like. So all the columns with purple uh, line on the top uh, tells us that these are the fields or the columns where the data entry is possible. So I can simply go into them and enter my data let's say this could be changed to uh, 25 million there we go and then data gets automatically changed why so because this comes with the data entry feature which also has the ability to auto save the information as we enter it and the information like i mentioned the forecasts within these worksheets can also be simply pushed back into the erp systems uh, if necessary SCI also now comes with the on, new online help. So I'm pulling up the new online help page. Uh, thanks to the Nick Terry, that's the other name which it goes with. Um, here we have the different sections where users can have the direct access to the information, whether it's the administrators or it's the end users. They have the step-by-step -step guide to everything they need to understand the functioning of this software. So for example, with the search field on the top if i search any field let's say pivot and it does the the search engine does its search and then we can have the information on the pivots and which then further gives a very lucid and step-by-step -step information on what pivots mean and how do they work and within sei and how we can use this feature to the maximum efficiency while using this application so that's the the that's a really good news that we now have an online help where uh, you have the access to a lot of different resources which help you uh, have a very good starting point to use SEI. And when it comes to consolidation of the data, uh, the data sync is a new module where we can now connect to multiple data sources uh, such as connections, extractions. So if I go into the connections, we have the source connections so these are all the different source connections which are now possible uh, to connect to and in the destination connections these are what we have for now and constantly working on creating new one with every new release of the software package in the extractions uh, it comes with four different stages and different features in fact i would must say which is synchronization consolidation migration and export so all of these I have their own particular feature where you can massage the data you can um, 
you know, create the data and prepare the data to be used and plugged in into SCI and start doing the analysis on that. So all this is readily available with the new data sync module. You can also do the transformation on your data, which is, would be a data cleaning of, in fact, uh, for example, here an example of CAD would be, sorry, an example of CAD would be like in a one software, one ERP system, CAD is defined as Canadian dollar, whereas the other one, it's simply defined as dollar. So if you want to just put it all together as CAD, this is where you can redefine all those <clears throat> glitches or the, the mistakes in the entries and prepare it and to streamline your data to be used in your uh, reporting analysis and tools. So with this, I have actually covered most of the things I wanted to show you with the version 9 and all the features which comes out of the box with version 9. So all the different KPIs, all the different <clears throat> dashboards which we have seen today, finance, sales, and CRM, and the good starting point that users get out of the box with the online help and the universal data models is something uh, which is very, very useful. And also the distribution module that we looked at, uh, which helps you and makes it much easier for you to share your reports uh, inside or outside the organization, both with SCI and non-SCI users. So here I will now put the floor open to uh, some of the questions. So Stefan, if you have seen any of the questions. Yeah, very good. Thank you so much, Jasdeep. That was a great walk through the Sage Enterprise Intelligence. So um, we do have a couple questions. Uh, the first one is around the version. You mentioned version 9. Is that available now? That's correct. Version 9 is already out. And then it, as as we mentioned like uh, so you have now the access to all these features that I was showing to you today since the version 9 is out yes that's correct okay great uh, another question we had is is there a possibility to have training on this certainly we have uh, the full training module and then uh, where our training team can even fly down to your location or we also host the remote trainings for the for the interesting clients and interested clients uh, so training wise we are well equipped and yes uh, it is actually recommended to have a training on the software to start learning how to use it more efficiently and on top of that I would must also mention that we are also working on creating um, the new training module where it will be more online based and users can also use it uh, online that's correct very good and i also want to mention that we here at computrack are also certified we have a certified consultant on sci so we can also assist with training when you that's go correct. live with new implementation certainly all right um, one last question is uh, how does the licensing work for sci so the licensing in SEI, uh, it comes with two different licenses. It comes with one full user. Uh, so all the things that you saw me working on today, uh, creating these reports, you can create new reports and then uh, slice and dice through these reports and even save the changes. So, and also have the, the same time, you would be like a super user of this software where you will also have the access to the backend of the application. Uh, you can manage the security settings. You can also manage the OLAP manager. So all these abilities do come with the full user license, which comes with SCI. But having said that, the uh, another one, uh, which is called the viewer user, uh, in which the users will be able to slice and dice the information, have the access to the dynamic reports. However, they won't be able to save the changes to these reports. So it comes with two different licenses. And it's also a concurrent, just so I mention. Great, great. Uh -huh. Okay, well, that seems to be all the questions we have today. Um, all right. I didn't want to go over time too much. So I think we'll stop there. But if anyone has any further questions, I'll leave my contact information on the screen. Feel free to reach out and I can get you any answers or any quotes that you guys are looking for. So with uh, that's all, thank you so much, Jazdeep. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure.
All right. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.